as we know, Tulsi Gabbard has filed a defamation lawsuit against Hillary Clinton uh, for her statements uh, where she was saying uh, that Tulsi Gabbard was a Russian asset, which uh, news outlets covered for Hillary and said, oh, she meant Republican asset. It's like, yeah, well, it was recorded. And they we didn't all even heard say that. she meant a Republican asset. They went in and sneakily changed Russian asset to Republican asset. They're so full of shit. And it's like, guys, that was on a radio program, right? There's audio recording of that. <laughs> like, you don't get to do that. People have the internet today. Yeah. What are you doing? So um, that's defamation. That's what that is. And it has a 50 million lawsuit that w goes along with it. So yesterday what we were reporting was it turned out that Hillary Clinton was es effectively refusing to be served court documents, mm -hmm. right? She's like, I'm not going to show up in court. I don't want to hear it. La, 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 la. Putting her head in the sand. Right, exactly. Like she did after she lost to Trump. Right, so surrounded by Secret Service, mm. pushing all of these process servers away and being like, no, no, no. It's just not real. It's not real. And apparently that's a thing that people do. And we had talked yesterday on the show about, um, well, maybe they could try doing it this way. Maybe they could try doing it th uh, this other way. Lainey Peterson was saying, you know, th there are some legal things that you can do uh, so, you know, you can put it in the newspaper and consider that person served in some states. Mm -hmm. Other states, uh, basically, uh, th they can basically just say, no, you, you are served. It's obvious that you know what's going on. This is, you know, childish. Yeah. And that they, it becomes clear. Well, we didn't have to go that far at all, it seems, because Hillary Clinton uh, basically just saw the news and was like, oh, I know this looks bad. I look extremely petty. It's like her first moment of self-awareness ever. It's amazing. Did she? I mean, but did she make a statement? I mean, I don't. I don't want to give her that much credit that she has any sort of self-awareness whatsoever. I think she knows it looks really, really bad. So let's, yeah. So that's not self-awareness. That's just self-consciousness, right? There's a difference between I suppose, like I feeling like I look like an asshole versus wow. There's something I, I haven't taken responsibility for, and I am going to be the bigger person here and step up to the plate and say, you know what, I did say that, and I was wrong about that. Or I did say that, and I doubled down. I mean it. Mm -hmm. Like, either way, that would be self-awareness. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a fair way of putting okay. that. Okay. Okay, that's much better than self-awareness. Okay. I can, oh, yeah. Hillary but Clinton. she's, we, mm -mm. I mean, the media essentially forced her hand because it was just too juicy. Right. Like, um, so... Uh, Let's see. So, quote, we look forward to finally moving forward on the merits of the case, said Brian Dunn, lead attorney representing Gabbard, who is suing Clinton, uh, indirectly referring to her as a Russian ac asset. Um, they do have to dance around that. It was an indirect reference, it, although the campaign did clarify that is exactly what they were saying. Yes, So, it I is. mean, because any casual observer also knows that's exactly what she was saying. And it's what she goes around and says about anybody that's her opponent, whether it's Trump, whether it's Bernie, whether, you know, it's Tulsi. It's like, oh, this person is, you know, a Russian asset, a, Rus a Russian, uh, there was an, another term that she used as well. Um, but... Why wouldn't we believe that she says that? She says it about everybody. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so uh, the Clinton office address turned out to be a mail drop, Dunn said. Uh, he added that the Chappaqua delivery was denied by Secret Service agents at the Clinton home. Quote, I have my concerns about the use of Secret Service agents to interfere with the service of federal judicial documents. But I digress, Dunn wrote in his statement. At Kendall's office, quote, our server was told Kendall is not authorized to accept service on behalf of Mrs. Clinton, Dunn wrote. So all of this is like, yeah, we covered this yesterday as well. Literally, they tried to give it to her lawyer. And it's like, oh, I'm her lawyer, except when you're trying to serve documents. Now, <laughs> now I'm not. It's because, like, in this time period, in this particular context, I'm not her lawyer. She has to be present wearing a blue and red floral dress on a Tuesday <laughs> in order for these documents to be served. Oh, so, my goodness. You know, it's, there are it's parameters, so ridiculous. Dude. It's so there ridiculous. There are rules here. Uh. So anyway, oh, I have a funny story about Hillary Clinton. Though. Oh, yeah, let's go. So I just came back from a cruise to the Bahamas, uh -huh. which was amazing. I don't think I ever want to travel or vacation in any other way than by a massive ship where they just lay out a bunch of things for you to do. But I went on that cruise with my mom and my sister, uh -huh. and, um, which is, and, and we didn't really get in any arguments. And one of my tactics, so my mom, my mom goes a little bit more right wing, right? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, 
And uh, we argue about politics a lot. Well, we used to, and I've kind of stepped back from that. And one of my tactics on this trip was like, anytime we started to head toward disagreement, I would just remind her about how much both of us disdain Hillary Clinton. And then, and then we got along. It was amazing. <laughs> like Hil Hillary Clinton brings people together. <laughs> Mutual <laughs> hatred. That's the way. That's okay. So yeah. Thanks, Hillary. Thanks, Hill. <laughs>